I'm pleased to share this devotional with you today. It's from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 58, and it reads like this. Therefore, my dear brothers, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. And this is a verse that obviously is encouraging us to press on, to do good, even when uh, you don't necessarily think you see uh, the outcome of it. Because uh, as 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says, uh, your labor in the Lord is not in vain. God sees, God knows, and God rewards in his time and in his ways. I think it's important to hear these words, but uh, I also want to consider them in light of the testimony of a gentleman that I've been following over the last uh, number of years. His name is uh, Vlad Makovsky, and I've referred to him in the life of our church as Vlad the Breadrunner, because I didn't think you'd maybe be able to uh, keep the name Makovsky, which is uh, Ukrainian, in mind. Vlad is a uh, person who has been uh, bringing medical supplies as well as uh, uh, bread uh, to those uh, on the front lines uh, in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine. He's been particularly uh, helping to evacuate uh, people from a city called Avdivka. And just the other day, uh, the BBC uh, News uh, ran a story about uh, Vlad and the others that are called the White Angels uh, from uh, uh, the Ukraine uh, and the Ukraine police force. I'm going to put the word Avdivka in front of you. And if you searched Avdivka and BBC News, you'll find uh, the news story and you'll actually find uh, the video clip uh, where they take uh, some of the videos from uh, the White Angels um, uh, in Avdivka and share what heroic work uh, that they are doing in East Ukraine, Avdivka, A-V-D-I-I-V-K-A, and it's uh, BBC News. Just uh, last night, though, I got a notification uh, that um, uh, Vlad Makovsky's uh, van uh, that he's been driving for the last uh, three, four years uh, was hit uh, by a Russian drone. And I wanted to read uh, some of this that came through uh, just the other night. Uh, today, Vlad Makovsky, uh, during the evacuation of people, became a target for the Russian drone. It happened in Avdivka in front of the church, uh, which was a designated uh, meeting spot for evacuation. The car that had a clear Red Cross symbol on its side as well as on top and the inscription evacuation didn't uh, deter uh, the Russian drone attack. And then it says, people were, ta were not taken away, obviously, because the van was uh, destroyed, and Vlad was injured, transferred to uh, Zaporizhia Hospital Number 9 by the White Angels, Zaporizhia, in East Ukraine. And currently he's getting uh, ready for debris removal surgery as uh, his leg uh, was uh, hit by uh, the debris from that uh, Russian drone attack. And then it says, we thank the, te the team at the, at the hospital and uh, the, they said the car burned, but we thank God for spared lives, and we were praying for healing. And then they uh, posted a picture of uh, the van that uh, uh, Vlad was uh, driving. It's now completely inoperable. The van, uh, the picture of it uh, that he was driving is actually the thumbnail uh, that was attached to uh, this video that you see uh, me um, now with this devotional. But I did see pictures of Vlad later on, and here he is in uh, Zaporizhia Hospital, and his uh, leg is all bound, uh, bandaged up, and he uh, wrote this um, to me. Avdivka is, was, and will be Ukraine. The evacuation continues also, despite the fact that I am not able to evacuate uh, people now. And then he writes, doing good, and don't be sad. I wonder how uh, we uh, would uh, handle uh, things that are sad in our lives um, uh, when uh, we are serving or wishing to do well and things become tough. Someone like uh, Vlad Makovsky uh, is an encouragement uh, to me. And I think of uh, Vlad and I uh, reword, uh, re rethink of the words from 1 Corinthians fifteen fifty eight. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable always abounding in the work of the Lord, 
knowing that in the Lord your labor is not in vain. Vlad is a testimony to me, an encouragement to me to keep going. I hope that he and others also are encouragement to, to you to remain being faithful, steadfast, immovable, and to keep abounding in the work of the Lord. Let's have a word of prayer, and uh, we'll pray for Vlad uh, and his healing, and we'll also pray uh, for ourselves in church. Let's pray. Father in heaven, we thank you for um, these words from Paul. And we also thank you for this testimony of Vlad Makovsky. And we pray, Lord, uh, your healing hand would be on our brother today, that you would strengthen his leg and uh, strengthen his spirits and bless his family and bless uh, his church. And we pray, Lord, that uh, the uh, Christians in Zaporizhia um, that have sent him out to, to work with the white angels, we pray that you would encourage them this day too. Father, help our hearts uh, not to be faint, uh, help us to be strong and to persevere, and help our church also, Lord, uh, to uh, be firm, immovable, and always abounding in your work. Bless us as we do. We pray this today. In Christ's name, amen. And may God's blessing be with you.